Hello there and welcome to the video. Now in today's video, we're going to talk about Tixio, a great software for your business. So I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about the Tixio software. And don't forget, if you want to have a comment or maybe you've got a burning question, then feel free to put it in the comments box below. And of course, there's gonna be a link in the description below for every software that we review. And sometimes there's even a discount as well, which helps you save some money. Let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so here we are on the Tixio dashboard. As you can see, it says uh, the welcome board. This is what comes up when you first go in. Once you've filled in all the questions and all the answers to the questions, gone through the process of clicking on your email, that kind of thing, you then get into this main board. Um, you've got all tasks. Uh, there's two added already for you, a simple checklist and the first task you'll do today. So basically you can put all your tasks that you need to do or make a checklist or any of that kind of thing. Now basically, I guess this is kind of amalgamation of many softwares together. And I suppose you could say, well, I could just use Google Docs for this or I could use, you know, something else. But the great thing about this is it's all in one place. So there's lots of different things you can do with this software and then you can basically share it with your team um, because that's the idea of the software. The idea is that you do these things uh, yourself and not only you can view them, but you can share them with your team. They can view them. They can add to the tasks. They can take away from the task, that kind of thing. So you're basically making, uh, you know, the, the remote work a lot easier for people uh, and also in general just in the office you know people can log into this software and then they can see what they need to do uh, what's coming up and sort of you know business information as well so well, let's go through some of the uh, the tasks and stuff you can do so the first one here is a board so you can create a new board now when they say board I guess it's a bit of a confusing thing to say because basically what they mean is create a page with something on now up here you've got a little plus sign so you can go to that and you can add widgets as well so if you click on the widgets up here uh, then there's various widgets you can add so bookmarks checklist simple notes RSS feed and web page as well so you can add all these to the pages themselves so that people can easily access them as well um, you've got all of your different uh, you know sales tools and stuff here uh, financial project management that kind of thing so any of these tools that you want to use you can uh, in terms of the archive that's when you've done a board and you want to archive it for later uh, you know maybe you haven't shared that board just yet so if you want to click on create a new board, then what you can do is you can create a folder or you can create a board itself or you can use a template. Now with the templates, I believe that is an added fee that you would have to pay. Um, but you can see some of the templates now. Uh, I'll just bring these up so that you can see what kind of ones you've got. Competitor analysis, what analysis, meeting minutes, uh, company mission statement, you know, all these different ones here. And you can choose one of those and you can go straight into it basically if you know exactly what it is you want to write about. Uh, but as I said, that is this section here. Uh, it's the template section. And as you can see, it's got a little uh, cross through it because you do have to pay an upgrade fee to be able to do that. But, you know, if you're interested in that kind of thing then I guess it's worth it paying for that fee. Uh, we've got here, we've got the wiki as well. Now this is a great thing in my opinion because this is basically, if you click on this, you can essentially create a Wikipedia page. Now it doesn't actually go on wiki obviously, but it's a, a Wikipedia type page of your entire company. So you can add your cover image, um, you know, you can add all the bits and bobs that you need, information about your company, uh, that kind of thing. And it's basically a massive knowledge hub so that everybody can access that. So you know when you're trying to onboard new people to your organization and you can sometimes struggle because you say okay like like I remember when I was onboarded to certain organizations they would send me a manual and I'd have to read through the manual and everybody has that manual printed out etc etc well this is great because you can put all the information you need in one page and then just share it with everyone and you don't have to have like massive computing knowledge to be able to do this this is almost like you know putting a document together like a word document almost and then you can then use that uh, and basically share it with everyone. So I guess the best way to explain this is that you can use the tools that you're used to using, but then be able to share them automatically and let people edit them as well if they have permissions, etc., cetera, um, and all that kind of stuff. So basically, you don't have to worry about, you know, trying to send emails around to every person that needs to access this stuff. It's all here on a centralized place, so that, that way everybody can go and take a look. 
Uh, what else we got here? So we've got the, uh, that's the, the wiki side of things. Um, you've got here, you've got your files. You can also share files as well. So if you want to share files, particular video clips or something like that, then you can do that as well. Now, remember these things that get shared, um, you can literally share anything. So if I want to share this here, all I would do is I would click on it. And then basically what happens is it creates me a an option to be able to add email addresses in. So all I would do is I would add the person's email address in. And then when they entered in, they would get a notification that something's been shared with them. Them, they'll be able to go straight to the software and they'll be able to see that page. So, uh, you know, it's a great way to share all the information with the, uh, the company. So there you are. That was a quick review of Tixio to let you know everything you need to know. Now, one of the great things about this software, which I kind of touched on a little bit before, and that is that, of course, everything is in one place and you can share it with the people in your company. So that means you don't have to worry about doing separate Word documents or PDFs or whatever you do and sending them out by email or, you know, or putting them, you know, somewhere that some people can access them, some people can't, etc, etc. All you have to do is put everything in one centralized place in an easy to manage way so that that way you can allow access or disallow access if you want to because that's something that you know it's not really great to talk about but imagine if there's somebody at your company who you don't want working for the company anymore rather than having all that information that you would send them by email and then they could then access that email at any time with that information because once you've sent it it's sent You've got this information all in one place and you can disallow the uh, the ability to be able to access that information. Simple as that. So if somebody's no longer with the company, you just take their email off the list and they are no longer able to access that information about your company on your board. Simple as that. So, uh, you know, that's a great added feature as well. But anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, don't forget, as always, make sure you like and subscribe for more videos in the future. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye for now.